What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to taste test this company called Carnivore Crisp. So they make these like meat, essentially chips. They're not chips though. It's literally just meat and salt. But I have a whole bunch. I mean, there's more than this. I could, I didn't pick them all up, but I have a whole bunch of different ones to try. I actually had gone onto their website because I noticed that they were Whole30 approved and right now I am doing a Whole30. And so I actually ordered a couple bags to try out and then they reached out to me and they asked if I could do a YouTube video where I'm like taste testing them and they ended up sending me another box with a lot more different flavors in them. So I actually have, I think like every flavor that they have like ever. I've never actually tasted them. So we're going to taste them all here on camera and I'll go through them and tell you each like not really a flavor. It's just like where they're from, like leg of lamb or beef liver or whatever. Literally all of these are grass fed and pasture raised. The only ingredients in them are the actual meat that they have. Like this one's liver. This is grass fed beef liver, purified water, Redmond real salt, and they're all dehydrated. So they're not using any like weird oils or alternatives or additives or anything like that. These are keto approved, whole 30 approved, carnivore approved. I mean, it's actually, it's almost like I think beef jerky, but just thinner sliced. So it's like crispy, like a chip. A lot of these have like a really good serving of protein. So like this one has 12 grams of protein. Um, this one is chicken skin, so it has four grams of protein, but it has way more fat. So like the eye, eye of round has 4.5 grams of fat and is 90 calories per serving. And then the chicken skin is 18 grams of fat with 180 calories per serving. Okay, so I'll show you all the ones that I have. I have the grass fed eye of round. I have the free range chicken skin. Skin. I have the grass-fed beef liver. This is the one that I'm most scared to try. I have grass-fed beef brisket, the grass-fed beef ribeye, the free-range leg of lamb. Graham thinks these are his treats. <laughs> the free-range pork loin, the grass-fed beef top sirloin, and the free range chicken breast. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead. I think I'll just start with like, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm gonna start with. Now, if these end up being really, really good, I actually have a discount code for you guys. You can use the code wheelers to get 10% off. It's for your first purchase. It does exclude subscriptions, but it'll be really good like for you guys to taste them and see what they're like. Hmm. This smells like chicken. So these are dehydrated that's a big one right there um, let me get the smaller one so because they're dehydrated they have more nutrients than beef jerky like they don't lose any nutrients so this is what they look like this is the chicken chicken breast that's the crunch taste just like chicken I think it could use a little bit more salt, but I think that's because I'm kind of comparing it to like a chip. See how it crunches like a chip? That's good. I can see that being a really good snack, especially when you're on like Whole30 and like keto and stuff where like nothing really has that crispiness that's like a chip. And I am a chip girl through and through. Okay, this one is grass-fed beef top sirloin. Oh wow, this is, these are big pieces. This is literally like a piece of beef. So that's what that looks like. It crunches. Okay. Mm, this is good. It has like the same flavor as like beef jerky, but without all that added like soy sauce and sugar. And I love these pieces of like crispy fat. This one's really good. This is the beef top sirloin. I think it has better flavor than the chicken breast one. Okay, next up is the pork loin. I just think that these are really cool that they only have like the meat and the salt. It's so hard to find like things that just don't have additives. And so this is gonna be really good if I can make some type of like appetizer thing for Whole30 like with these, that'd be really good. Okay, this is the pork. So it looks like this. Again, they're all crunchy. Mm. This is way better 
and pork rinds. This pork loin is really, really good. Oh, it even says added uses. Add cheese to any of the crisps to make your own keto nachos. Choose your favorite carnivore crisp and cheese microwave for 30 to 40 seconds and enjoy. Well, since I'm on Whole30, I obviously can't do that, but I bet these are really good, like dipped into like homemade guacamole or even like cauliflower hummus, I bet would be really good. Okay, this one is Eye of Round, so another beef one. I think there's definitely a lot more beef ones, so we'll see how different they are. Mm. The beef ones just like smell so good. I don't know why, I must be a beef girl. Okay, so this is what the Eye of Round looks like. I mean, you can obviously tell that these are just slices of really good quality beef. They're dehydrated with salt, like that's it. I think. I'm really liking the beef ones a lot because they're not as crispy as the pork and the chicken, but you can tell that they naturally have that extra fat and they're not as lean as the other ones. Yeah, because this beef one has 4.5 grams of fat, whereas the chicken only has 1.5 and the pork has two grams. So you can just like taste that in that crunch. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, now this one is gonna be fatty. This is the chicken skin. And I have a feeling that I'm going to really like this one. Mm. Okay, so it looks pretty crispy. The flavor is different than I expected. The crunch and the mouthfeel of the fattiness is really good, but the flavor, actually is not my favorite. It doesn't really taste like chicken. It, I don't know. It has like not a meaty flavor to it, if that makes sense. It doesn't make sense, I know. Okay, beef brisket. This one's next. I think the chicken skin's actually been maybe my least favorite, and I thought that was gonna be my actual favorite. Also, it does say for best results to refrigerate after opening, which I also didn't realize that like actual real jerky also always says that, and I didn't know that till this year. Okay, wow, beef brisket is on the fattier side, but again, these are all like pretty crispy. That flavor is delicious. So far, all of the beef ones have been my favorite. That one's also very good. So the beef ones, they're definitely not as crispy, but they have such a good flavor and they're not, chewy like beef jerky like beef jerky is actually like super chewy i have like locked jaw syndrome and so it actually like really hurts my jaw if i chew on jerky for too long and these ones are almost like melt in your mouth like they're really good and juicy okay this one i'm scared this is beef liver watch me throw up on camera kind of smells like liver too I figured if I don't like these, then I'll give the beef liver ones to Graham, my dog, because I actually bought him, I think it was dried lamb liver, like at my local farmer's market as a dog treat. Like they were selling them as dog treats. I'm really scared about this one. Okay, this is the lamb liver. I mean, this is the beef liver. So that's what it looks like. It's got a crunch. Nope. It still tastes like liver. This one's actually way saltier than all of the other ones. But we're gonna give the rest of this to Graham. It's so bad. I'm sorry. I just don't like liver. Here, Graham. Come here. Mmm, yummy. Is it approved? You love it, huh? Okay, we have two left. One of them is lamb and the other is beef ribeye. I'm gonna do the lamb next because I'm also not that big of a fan of lamb. So I feel like I'm not gonna like that like really gamey flavor. Let me just show you my dog really quick now. This is what happens because I gave him a... <laughs> He's just my buddy now. He's just waiting for me to give him more. Okay. It does kind of smell like lamb. This is what it looks like. Here's the thing about lamb. I feel like different cuts of lamb 
have different flavors. And ground lamb is like very gamey to me and I usually don't like it. But when I have like a, like a leg of lamb or a roast of lamb, it's actually not as gamey. And this leg of lamb is actually really good. There's not any weird like off flavor or like gaminess to it. And if you were worried about like the beef ones having too much fat, but then like the chicken and the pork having not as much, this one has three grams. So still pretty good with protein, 11 grams of protein and three grams of fat. Okay, last one, we have the beef ribeye. Ooh, look at that piece. That looks delicious. Okay. This one is saltier than the other beef ones that I've tasted so far, but still is equally good. Very good crunch, very good flavor. Honestly, all the beef ones were very good to me. I pretty much like them all equally. And my least favorite was definitely the liver. And then chicken skin was I mean, not as bad as the liver, but still just not the flavor that I thought it was going to have. But I was very surprised with how much I liked the lamb and the pork was also really good. So if you've been wanting to try carnivore crisp, I definitely suggest like if you are a beef fan like me, getting the beef ones to try. I don't think that you go wrong with any of the cuts like between the brisket and the ribeye and the eye round and everything. They're all just really, really good. Don't forget you can use my code wheelers to get 10% off your first order, not on a subscription bundle. These are Whole30 approved. So if you've been looking for an alternative to have something to snack on, that's not a crunchy vegetable. This is a really, really good alternative. Okay, that's it for this video. If you guys wanna see more like Whole30 approved products, then let me know and I will see you guys very soon in another one. Bye everyone.